hello besties welcome to a little haul i went to an absolutely insane church rummage sale yesterday and <laughs> to get in yesterday you had to pay 25 dollars at the door and so i was like okay i know this is gonna be good everyone had tucked it up i had never been before and with some of these church sales i'll get there like an hour early i got to this one like an hour and 20 minutes early like I was like, okay, like I want to be near the front of the line. And I will say it was worth it. Um, I was like number eight in line. Jumping in, I found so many brands that I like never really find. And it was crazy. There was a lot of bread and butter though. And then a lot of things that I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. I spent like $300. So here we go. Okay, starting off with some athletic wear. I went to the athletic table. No one was there. I was like, perfect. This is my time. Um, this brand I don't find very often, Cotopaxi. This is just a tank top, but I was like, that brand's good. Jackets and backpacks are really good if you ever find them. Then I got this Figs long sleeve under scrub top. I know I've sold these before and they've done so well. Arc'teryx shorts. I wish it was a jacket, but I will take it size medium. <laughs> then I got some Lululemon shorts. These are an older style, but they were like three or four dollars i was like still totally worth it and because golf season is coming back i got this women's nike golf squirt these do pretty good for me um i think i sold one just last week this might be a workout top for me just a north face like mesh top i'm going on a little hiking trip this summer and i love my cute little workout outfits um some nike spandex shorts those are always good some more Nike golf shorts. I'm doing like a speed run of this haul now that I have my watch hours. I respect your time, thank you for coming, but I just wanna show you everything I got. I don't need to tell a little story about everything even though I want to. This is a Nike Air bodysuit, which I was like, okay, that's cute. Zips in the front. An Athleta quarter zip. I'm second guessing this, but I think it'll be good. And then some Athleta. These are like moto pants. Um, but I sold another pair of Athleta dress pants yesterday for $50 on Mercari. So hopefully those do well. <clears throat> and then here's the good stuff. These Lululemon leggings. These don't have a size tag. Um, and the crotch needs some fabric shaving, but I might make my mom try them on and see if she wants them. Cause I hate selling them without a size dot on them. And then these Lululemon leggings, these are size six, have some little mesh detailing. They are cropped, but still good. And then some free people movement leggings. And these are Prana. They got side pockets. These are pretty good. Um, and when I was checking out with all the Lululemon, the woman, she was like, oh, my daughters would have loved these. I was like, yeah, it's a really good deal. <laughs> okay, sweatshirts. These are absolutely all over the place. First up, this little bear Halloween collared sweatshirt. This is so cute. I almost don't want to list this until I have the chance in the fall to take a picture in it. I feel like I've seen maybe Styles by Sam sell something like that before. Yale crew neck sweatshirt. This is a large. Then Ohio State Nike sweatshirt, size XL. North Face hoodie. This is a women's. This is in such good condition. Like this feels like new. Another Nike hoodie. I really think I should stop buying the cowl neck ones. I don't think that's as in anymore as it used to be, but it was cheap. So I could not help myself. This is a free people movement top. These sleeves are so cute. Um, again, you might see me wear this at some point. And then this brand, Sage X Claire. It says with a whole lot of love. I, I was not checking comps in there. I was like going for speed. And I was like, this looks expensive. I'm gonna pick it up. And then I tried searching it and I absolutely cannot find anything about this brand. Because whenever I search it on Poshmark, Things that are sage colored show up and not this brand. So 
I don't know. We'll see if this is a win or not, but if I make $20 on that, I'll be happy. This I also like did not look at. This just says ambitious. This is from Phenomenal, but I checked comps and they're going for like 25 bucks. I was like, okay, cute. Then we have, this is giant. This is a men's Carhartt hoodie, size XL. I was like, this is going to be some good money. That'll be a quick flip for sure. And then this Patagonia hoodie, I've sold this before in a different color. Just says live simply. Um, women's small. I think I got $30 on this before. So I know that shades of brown are in right now. And then while I was standing in line, I was with Brandon. I think he's the Heartland picker or maybe just Heartland picker. Here's his stuff. I was like, if you see any Drake sweatshirts, let me know. I go in. The first thing I pick up is a Drake sweatshirt. This is for me. I love this shade of yellow. <laughs> so not for sale, but I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, moving on to dresses. This is Flynn Sky, which I hadn't heard of. I picked this up based on style. It's got that little like I think this is described as cowl neck on dresses um, and this like silky satiny material is really in. So comps looked really good on that. I think like $45. And then this Madewell black floral little button down dress size four. There was so much Madewell there. Um, I probably bought like five other tops and like a skirt that was new with tags. Okay, then this Carl Lagerfeld lace dress. I was like, this is so cute, size 10. This J. Crew square neck dress. I feel like the square neck style is really in right now. Size small. This is a Zara dress. Cute little lavender. Size small. This is Urban Outfitters halter dress. New with tags. Size small. <laughs> it's very long. It's like midi length. I got a good amount of new with tag stuff there. Speaking of new with tags, this Leith. I think it rhymes with Keith, if I'm not mistaken little shimmery dress new with tags extra small i was like this would be cute if someone's going to the eras tour and then not a dress but got these billabong overalls these are like linen so cute and then this is accidentally in my dress pile but this brand terzo millennio i was not checking comps i saw that this was made in italy and looks like linen so i bought it and I checked comps when I got home and they look pretty good. Like, I don't know, 25 bucks. But for a shirt that I bought for $3, I'll take it. Okay, now on to any other bottoms that I have left. Got this little Zara skirt, new with tags, large. I kind of think I shouldn't have got this now, but I haven't actually checked comps on it. We'll see. Then this Madewell skirt, new with tags, size six. I was like, that's super cute for spring. Some American Eagle shorts. There were a ton of these. Um, I passed on a lot of them, but picked up these. And then jeans were so good. Um, Abercrombie & Fitch, mid-rise boyfriend jean, size four. These are Zara size four. Kind of like, I don't know. They're almost like paper bag pants, but the top's not. Anyways, I thought these were cute. These J. Crew corduroy pants, size 26. Those are cute. They also had them in pink. I was like, I'm just gonna get one because I don't actually know how these will do. Some Madewell high rise skinny jeans. I wish I had looked at the size tag on these. They're 26 petite, which I feel like may be a little hard to sell, but I was like, you know, I'll still get them. And then I know this brand because of Amber Resells, the other Iowa Amber reseller. <laughs> Um, Judy Blue. I was like, awesome. Not one, but two pairs. So I got a pair size five and a pair size seven. And then these jeans. Okay, this brand is nothing special, but like this face print, I was like, this is so cute. They're a size small, new with tags. I got home and the zipper is broken. And so it's like missing teeth on this side. I don't know if I can try to like shove it back in there, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna be really sad because these are so cute. And then some Abercrombie & Fitch sweatpants. I don't know how these will do, but everything Abercrombie & Fitch that I have been picking up has been doing really well for me. And then rag and bone jeans. Like this church sale was lit, guys. Um, I also did not check what style these are. These are the low rise slim boyfriend. 
Um, low rise is trying to make a comeback from what I hear, but I think people are very hesitant, but still gonna list them. Then I have some We The Free, these are like khakis, but like cute, like they got the little raw hem, like skinny, size 29. And then these are Princess Polly like corduroy pants. I thought these were so cute, these are size 10. On to sweaters, jackets, and such. So I I did one round, I was there for like an hour and a half, I filled two Ikea bags, I checked out, took those to my car, and I was like, I'm gonna go back and just like check again. And they had a teen girls clothing table, which I had not looked at the first time, and it looked like not many people had. Like it was also very nicely folded. And it was a lot of like regular women's clothing, just like small sizes. So I digged at the middle of the table on the bottom was this fuzzy thing, and I was like, mm, let me check out what that is. It's free people. Um, this is the Turn Up Lavender Haze zip up jacket. So cute. I think there was this whole comp for like $65, but I was like, awesome. Like that is some good money. This I've sold before, these LL Bean corduroy button up shirts. This is a large petite, so we'll see how it does. I have that in like a hot pink right now for sale if you're looking. And then this is just like a vintage like grandpa sweater. The brand is St. Croix. I was like, okay, that's fine. I got this J. Crew cashmere sweater. Looks very good for cashmere because so many people just wash it and then it ends up like trash. Extra small. And then this is a Hollister like jacket. Boyfriend fit, little houndstooth print. I was like, that's so cute. If I still have it in the fall, you will see me wearing it. And then exclusive me, ex exclusively Masook. Masook. Um, just this little like cardigan. I was like, how cute. Okay, now on to tops. This is a little Trina Turk, kind of like cheetah print top. I've never sold this brand before, but I've heard of it. Size extra small. This little Zara was super cute embroidered shirt, really long shirt, tunic. Size extra small. And then here comes a good chunk of Madewell. So we got Madewell size small little blue and white stripe, fun sleeves, this Madewell small denim tiered top, super cute. This Madewell top, so cute, pink, red stripes, ties on the side, size extra small. This is Cloth and Stone for Anthropology. They also have a separate one, but I hear that this one with the word Anthropology on the tag sells better, so I picked this up. Little black and purple plaid top. Oh, this should have been a myopathic pile, but Lululemon, just a long sleeve. It's kind of dingy. So I might look at their like trade-in program that Lululemon has um, and see if maybe I can get a gift card for that. Vineyard Vines, this little linen blue top, size large. This Eileen Fisher linen top. I think I've actually sold this exact one before. This is a medium, more made well. This cute little floral embroidered button down top, size small. This Athleta, kind of like polo quarter zip. I was like, this is cute for someone looking to golf, size medium. Another made well top, this one's a medium. Cute little like rust. This Athleta top, new with tags. This is the Avenue T, size XL, black. Mom, if you want it, let me know. <laughs> Okay, this might be for me, just a cute little sweater vest. Patagonia shirt, but it's cropped. I've still sold these before um, and it was super cheap. This like Nike Iowa Hawkeyes baseball jersey. This will be some good money, a size XL. This Harley Davidson top I threw into my bag without realizing that the size tag was cut out. I'll just measure it. It's probably like a large, but I sell a lot of Harley stuff. This brand, CC, I don't think is anything special, but these collared sweaters, I've sold probably three or four of these in the past couple weeks. Like these are a hot item, especially the Abercrombie and Fitch ones. But I was like, even though this is not Abercrombie and Fitch, like the style is still in. Princess Polly crop top, American Eagle crop top, new with tags, size large. Harley Davidson quarter zip. I was like, oh, this is good, women's XL. And then the best for last. So Frank and Eileen, I've only found this twice and both times at church sales. This feels like so high quality. This is a size medium, the Ellen style. And then cream of the crop, Johnny Waz. 
I saw this folded on the t-shirt table and I saw the embroidery and I was like, oh, Johnny Wallace has a lot of embroidered stuff. Let me check it out. And lo and behold, um, this is a large. It's not the cutest. I hate this word harmony here. I think that really throws it off. Like otherwise I would, I would have wore it, but anyways, that was the haul. I bought 80 three items. I spent $297 plus 25 on the entrance. So I spent $322 <laughs> and I'm unemployed. So I better get listing. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to get this all listed in the next few days. I don't know when this YouTube video will be out. Um, but if it's listed, check out my Poshmark, my Facebook, possibly my Mercari and my eBay too. Um, if there's anything you're interested in, you can always drop a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Love you. Bye.